It's Malachi Church versus State. There's a new Bible out. It's called the Gay Bible. I'm gonna put a link below so you can take a look at it. Um, <clears throat> well, it really references back to as in the days of Lot. So with this in mind, uh, it also says as in the days of Noah too. So there's a few things going on. There's the uh, return of the fallen angels and the whole uh, Nephilim or Nephilim or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, and then we have the whole issue in regards to uh, the issues with Sodom and Gomorrah. So it's very interesting how in America we have a whole gay rights movement going on or whatever it is that they're doing. But I'm not going to talk about that because it's, it's going to come to pass no matter what. We, I live in a little town of Eureka Springs and they're all up in arms because the gay community is doing certain things. And, you know, I told many of the Christians around here, I said, well, you've had many, many years to uh, deal with this issue, and, and now you're all upset for what's happening, uh, because now it affects you, meaning uh, there's a lot of pastors that would be forced to uh, perform gay weddings. Um, but um, it says right in the Word, it says, uh, you know, everything is written, it's foretold all things, so I don't know why people get so up in arms about it. Um, kind of why I always tell people to get involved. That's why it's called church versus state because the church needs to be against the state. It's the state coming after the church. We don't fight, you know, we just give in. But however, like I said, in reality, it's good that we fight, but we have to understand the only one that will prevail in the, the whole thing here, the, the end result is Christ is the only one that can prevail. That's, that's it. But like I said, it doesn't mean we give up. We still fight, but I just as long as you understand that uh, you're not always going to win the war. You might win a few battles, but the war is only won by Christ. So anyways, let's, let me get back to this whole, as in the days a lot. So if we, if we understand what happened in the days a lot, we understand that two witnesses came into the city before it was destroyed. And they came in and they saved Lot and his kids. His wife obviously had some issues and, and wanted to look back, and so she paid that price. But however, um, the two witnesses were a part of that issue, meaning the two angels. So if you understand your word, you will understand the fact that the next thing that's going to occur, that's going to happen here shortly, uh, is that we're going to see the two witnesses upon this earth, because they will have two witness uh, against the Antichrist, as God always does. He always sends two witnesses to everything. That's why in law you're supposed to have witnesses to certain accounts. Um, anyways, Malachi Church for State signing out, support my music ministry. I'm going to put a new song behind this one. It's called Slaves. And um, anyways, if you can support me, that's great. You know, if not, I guess then you don't. But anyways, um, hug your kids, call your parents, see a neighbor, repent and be baptized. And yes, it is snowing. Nice, huh? I like it. People are slaves 430 years have gone Still they seem to carry on The ways that made them slaves My people are slaves I sent Moses to free the land To take them from Pharaoh's hand but they run right back as slaves My people are slaves I bring them freedom They don't understand They need laws to comprehend To make them back as slaves My people are slaves